right, thanks for watching. And today I want to do something amazing, probably one of my favorite applications of determinants. Namely, I want to find the inverse of A using just determinants. And if you like Bomberman, this is like a Bomberman extravaganza. You'll see why. So let's find A inverse where A is 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 2. All right. So how do you do this? So it's a bit strange, okay? So the formula is as follows. A inverse is 1 over the determinant of A and a 3 by 3 matrix transpose. First of all, let's quickly find the determinant here. So for example, let's expand it out along the uh, first column. Then you get 1 times, place a bomb here, the determinant of 1, 1, 0, 2. And then minus 0 times whatever, plus 1 times, place a bomb here, 2, 3, 1, 1. If you do that, you get 2 uh, plus 2 minus 3, and that's 1. So it turns out that the determinant is 1, which is nice. And then, how do you find that other matrix? Just like for determinants, you put pluses and minuses. So plus, minus, and by the way, I have no idea why this works. This is beautiful. Okay, plus, minus, plus, sorry, uh, minus, plus here maybe. Your usual sign table, right? Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. And now, as I said, if you like the term, if you like Bomberman, this is Bomberman heaven. Because for this entry, you place a bomb here. And you take the determinant of the rest. 1, 2, minus 0, 1, which is 2. Then, for this entry, you place a bomb here. And you take the determinant of the rest. So 0, 1, 1, 2, which becomes minus 1. So minus minus 1. Here, you place a bomb here, and you take the determinant of the rest. So 0, 1, 1, 0, which is minus 1. And then maybe then erase this and put more bombs. So you see, I'm sure you've done that in Bomberman, just placing a bomb everywhere. Yeah, it's the same thing. So 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 2. Okay, then you place a bomb here, determine of 2, 3, 0, 2, so you get 4. You place a bomb in the middle, 1, 3, 1, 2, which becomes 2 minus 3, so minus 1. And then you place a bomb here, which becomes illegible, 1, 2, 1, 0, which becomes minus 2. And then you just continue, you place a bomb here, and you get minus 1. 1 and 1. So the answer is, again, 1 over 1 times 2, 1, minus 1, minus 4, minus 1, 2, minus 1, minus 1, 1. Transpose. Don't forget about the transpose. Number one mistake people do. And we get 2 minus 4, minus 1, uh, 1, minus 1, minus 1, and minus 1, 2, 1. Always you take this matrix and flip it along the diagonal, and there you go. This gives you explicitly A inverse. And just a couple more applications. First of all, this also shows if the determinant of A is 1 and A has integer entries, this formula shows you that the entries of A inverse must also be integers. So I think that's a cool thing. Also, let me use that to show you how to... Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, that's a different video. Um, let me use that to show the formula for determinant of a 2 by 2... Sorry, for the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix. 
using this method. So let's assume A is A, B, C, D. Then what does this formula say? A inverse is 1 over the determinant of A. So A, D minus B, C. Something transpose. And you put plus, minus, minus, plus. Okay. Now, here, you take the determinant of this matrix, which is just D. Then, the determinant of this matrix, which is minus C. The determinant of this matrix, which is B. And the determinant of this last matrix, which is A. And then, transposing flips it. And you get 1 over A, D minus B, C. And then, D minus B minus C, A. That's precisely how you get that formula. So, I know people hate this method because, yes, it is computationally very inefficient. Like, in the previous example, you had to calculate at least 9 determinants and then the 10th one because of that. So, 10 determinants are not great. But, still, I love this because you can just say explicitly what it is. You don't have to worry about row reducing. Uh, all right, so I hope you like this determinant application. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.